hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima this is the last part of the series advice for 200 level medics if you've not seen the part one to three please go and see it before coming here with that said let's get started and of course as a mental health advocate i'll always tell you take your mental health seriously i know there are times that you may feel overwhelmed there are times that you will cry like me i cried a lot in my 200 level although my reason for crying was different as a first degree holder i wasn't expecting that i'll be able to find certain things difficult for me even the anatomy that i studied in my first degree i still found certain things difficult for me and it made me to cry made me to be depressed at a point so please just know that if it was difficult for me that has a first degree in anatomy then it doesn't mean that you'll be exempted and at the same time it doesn't mean that it will be difficult for you as well that's why i say don't compare yourself to anybody stay on your own lane i struggled a lot and i had to take a break so there are times that you really need to take a break there were days that i refused to go for class just because i was overwhelmed it was here like it was pinching my nose <laughs> so please take out breaks when necessary be smart about the breaks that you take though don't go and take too much breaks there are some days you just need to switch off your phone stay back in your lodge or in your hostel and sleep all through don't let anybody judge you for taking breaks they are very necessary there are days that you need to hang out with your friends there are days you need to do video call with your your loved ones with your family members there are days like that so don't think it's all going to be rosy and of course i'm going to tell you for the hopeless romantics like me <laughs> for those who are going to be involved in relationships while being in medical school please choose your partner wisely i've already uploaded a video on how i combine a romantic relationship with medical school and still excel at it i'll put the link up for you in case you'd like to see that video i will not tell you close everything relationship until you're done with medical school now nah, I'm not going to tell you that because there are certainly some people who are meant to get married while in medical school there are some people who are meant to be in relationships while in medical school so if you're one of those people I'll tell you choose your partner wisely and of course watch that video to see some other tips that I'm going to tell you based on my own experience of course this is one thing that many 200 level students have serious problems with your 200 level is not the time for you to be preparing for MB I beg you take it one step at a time your 200 level first semester prepare for your first semester exam your 200 level second semester prepare for your second semester exam and of course prepare for your pre mb if your school writes pre mb that is not the time for you to start preparing for mb use the 200 level first semester past questions to prepare for your 200 level first semester exams use the 200 level second semester past questions to prepare for your 200 level second semester exam prepare for the semester as the time goes so that you will not get distracted with preparing for mba and then you end up failing your first semester exam or you end up failing your second semester exam it is when you have passed your first semester you can now move on to prepare for a second semester exam and it is when you have passed your 200 level exams you can now move on to prepare for 300 level exam don't jump ahead of your shadows do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it and how you're supposed to do it at that moment in time don't jump and run faster than your shadow please of course i'm going to tell you for those who do not like drawing like me sorry to disappoint you you will draw a lot of diagrams in 200 level especially in anatomy god if you've not seen my whole playlist on how to answer questions in exam i'll put the link up for you it's going to help you a lot in anatomy you cannot answer any darn thing without diagrams so you need to learn how to draw diagrams you need to prepare your mind ahead of time that you will be drawing a lot so get your drawing materials ready of course another thing i'm going to tell you is okay keep an open mind trust me there will be times when you would study so hard and your results would not show what you're supposed to have don't be disappointed even me had that experience before so many exams that i've written and i expect that oh i'll have a 70 something and i end up seeing a 60 something sometimes i even see a 69 and it annoys me so much so don't worry it's okay it happens okay that's how medical school is medical school actually try to see what they can do to humble you because even the top most person in your class can actually fail that's just how medical school is even the least in quotes nobody's least in medical school please don't get me wrong but even someone with the least score in your class can always be the person with the number one score in your class anything can happen in medical school so just prepare your mind keep an open mind don't be proud please the fact that you're always having 70 70 70 does not mean that you, you cannot have a 50 doesn't mean that you cannot fail and the fact that you're always having a 20 or 30 30 or 40 it doesn't mean that you cannot have that 70 something just don't be proud at any point in time keep an open mind be prayerful of course but keep an open mind that anything can happen at any time in medical school 
okay so even though your results may not show the efforts that you've put in just try to rethink i'm going to upload a full video on what to do when your results are not showing the efforts that you've put in please remind me so that i will not forget i beg you remind me in the comment box thank you times like that just step back and think where did i go wrong what could have gone wrong what is it that i should have done that i didn't do is it my lateness or is it this or that is it how i answer my question just don't worry i'm going to give you guys details in that video that i'm going to upload so just prepare for times like that it's totally normal don't worry then of course i'm going to tell you please get involved in extracurricular activities i've uploaded a video on how i combine extracurricular activities with medical school if you've not seen that video i'll put the link up for you please don't be a hundred percent medical student if you're not involved in politics at least volunteer now get involved in church activities or mosque activities get involved in religious activities generally so if you're not involved in secular activities at least volunteer in your church volunteer in your fellowship volunteer in CMD, volunteer in FECAMS, volunteer in the Muslim Students Association. Don't just be a full-time medical student, especially if you're studying in our federal universities where strikes are the order of the day. You end up spending eight years of your time achieving only MBBS certificate when you would have used that time to go into freelancing or go into one business or the other or learn a trade or learn a skill or get involved in any other thing that you love doing or even being able to touch lives. So please get involved in extracurriculars as much as we in your power one more advice i'm going to give you before i move into the last tip is that you should learn how to be independent in exam hall i'm telling you start learning now in your 200 level from 100 level you should have learned though but please learn how to be independent if you've not seen my video on how to be independent in exam hall i'll put the link up for you you really need to see that video because there's a way you can condition your mind that oh so so, so person is going to help you and then you enter the exam hall and that person disappoints you or they change your seat it can destabilize you don't make yourself to be so dependent on people around you to be able to write exam try to learn how to be independent believe me it has helped me a lot to the point that even though i'm the only one writing in that hall i will still write and i will still pass and pass well so please work on being independent it's going to go so far to help not just while you're a medical student but it's going to help you throughout after being a medical doctor all the exams that you're going to write is going to go a long way for those who want to leave the country the international exams and certification exams that you're going to write so please start from your 200 level first semester to start working on yourself to be independent so that nothing is going to destabilize you in exam hall the last for definitely not the least for those who have been following me you already know what i'm going to say the holy spirit i am a strong advocate of the holy spirit work on your relationship with the holy spirit you need the holy spirit now more than ever because the holy spirit is going to help you understand those things that you do not understand the holy spirit is going to be your teacher is going to be your confidence is going to be your partner even in exam hall if you've not seen my video on how to develop a relationship with the holy spirit i'll put the link up for you please work on the holy spirit with that said if there's anything i've forgotten to add while editing this video i'm going to add it i remember your girl jemima bye